Pale Year 5s. It's uh, our Thursday's reading. It's Pratt's Apply. Uh, as you know, it's the oops, it's the one from the Acquire Fan that we analysed. So it's, uh, it's Everest, a dangerous place, which you can find on the next slide there. Um, so our Pratt's Apply, we've got ourselves our good mate, Wordsmith Wendy. Um, and Wordsmith Wendy loves words, loves the meanings of words, loves how it can affect the reader, loves the definition of words, loves how things can mean other things, loves the language, similes, metaphors, all of that. She loves it. Look at that, Mrs. Corrin, I suppose. So we're going to be looking at our prior knowledge, plausible inference of what words could mean. So plausible, remember, could, you know, it's possible. Inference, using the information around to make our own thoughts. Um, and we'll clarify some of the words. So you'll notice you've got a little, set, a little list of words here to have a look at. So our first one, I'll tell you what, I'll number them down. I'll write them down down here. So number one, hypoxia. So first of all, your skin reading skill, which you'll always need. Aha, we have hypoxia here and we also have it here. So hypoxia is caused by lack of oxygen to the brain. People with hypoxia show signs of impaired judgment. Ooh, so here you actually need to think of some retrieval skills and actually think, well, what do I, do I need to write this whole paragraph down? It's all about hypoxia. Surely you'd have to copy the whole paragraph down. Um, I would definitely have caused by lack of oxygen to the, the brain and can be, can cause them to be confused. Yeah, I might do that. So, um, Caused by lack of oxygen to the brain and can lead to confusion. There we go. Sorry about the handwriting, like it's really hard to write on this pad. Um so that first one was kind of a bit of retrieval, actually. Uh, two, replenish. Now, I think I can remember where replenish was. I think it was either here somewhere. Ah, there we go. Replenish. So, this is, oh, we're in the death zone. This is aptly named because here the body uses up its store of oxygen faster than it can be replenished. So, you're, this, this is certainly using the context of the sentence. So, Body uses up oxygen, so uses your oxygen faster than it be replenished. So even if you're not sure about what replenish means, it means that you take in your oxygen, but it's used up faster than whatever this means. So we could probably guess that replenish means uh, to be taken in or filled up. Will that work? So can you use it, it store energy faster that can than it can be taken in or it store of it oxygen faster than it can be refilled, I suppose. Refilled? To refill? I'm gonna go for refilled. I'm gonna say refilled. Or to or taken in. Uh, number three, to trudge. Mm, to trudge. I've probably heard this word. I think this is about trudging in the snow somewhere, isn't it? Now I can't. I'm going to have to find it. So skim reading, skim reading. You'll have to do this as well. E ah, there we go. Trudge. Trudge is here. So some climbers on a bridge can trudge through heavy snow and climb cliffs at the maximum. Yes, yeah, so tr to trudge through heavy snow. What's well, walk, isn't it? So to walk to walk through heavy snow. So trudge. I'm going to say to walk slowly. If you've just put walk, well, the, the fact that it's, it says heavy snow when you're climbing, you don't just walk if you're, if you're trudging. The clue is that there's heavy snow. We know it's like to walk through heavy snow, beach from the east and all of that. So I'm going to say you walk, so or, or walk slowly or a very hard walk. Whoops. Uh, number four. Luckler. Now, Luckler is, uh, hmm. where is, the, ah, here we go. Starts with the capital. Climbers are flown into Luckler, a Sherpa village. 
Well, I'm going to say it, it's a place. A Sherpa village. How do you spell Sherpa? A Sherpa village. That one's kind of more of a test of your understanding of woods. Oh dear. More of a test of your understanding of your capital letters and your proper nouns, I suppose. Number five, if something is situated. Oh, I remember where this, I think I know where this word is. E situated, situated. Maybe I don't know where it is. Uh, skin read, skin read. You're probably screaming at it for me. Scream, skin situated. I do remember reading it. Oh, well, I'm, doing I'm not worried that I can't find it. I'm modelling to you guys how long sometimes it takes to find the word you need. But I think some of us can sometimes be a bit haphazard with our reading. We try and get done as quick as we can. Hmm. I can't find my situated. I think I've gone past it. Or I've not gone over the right bit. Anyway, situated. Ah, found it. It's there. Is that playing where's Wally? Base camp is situated on a glacier. Or base camp. You know what a camp is? A camp is somewhere you stay outdoors. So if you don't know what situated is, base camp is on a glacier that constantly shifts. Well, hmm. I'll tell you. Situated means that that's where it is. Um, so I'm just going to put where something is. Normally a place, a building is situate, situated here. It's where, it's where something is. And then number six, foolhardy, which I see, I think it's got these, uh, I can't know where that is now. I feel like it was down in the bottom somewhere. Um, but foolhardy, I think you can probably work out the meaning. Ah, here it is. Uh, later in the day, the ice floor becomes even more unpredictable and unstable. To cross it then would be foolhardy in the extreme. I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say that that means foolish. Um, but good, I think wordsmith Wendy can be hard because you've got to try and make your own definition for it, haven't you? You prove it, find and copy the word or phrase that means to feel sick. Well, that one would be nausea. The top, that's summit. And I'm not going back because I can remember quite a lot of these words. Difficult place to live. Now, that is a good one. Um, difficult place to live is inhospitable. Let me have a spell before I write. Inhospitable. Oh, there we go. Oh, help. Not want to. Now, I can't remember what I put. <laughs> I can't remember these answers. Um, so, find a copy of word or phrase that means help or not want. Hmm. Now, oh, I wrote these questions last week. <laughs> and I can't potentially remember what the answers were. So, I'm skim reading. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Help is the assistance. So, to help or assistance. Is it a blast there as well? No. Without the assistance of oxygen, without the help of oxygen. No, I not want to. Um, Mm -hmm. Unable means you can't, but that doesn't mean you don't want to. Having a look, something that means not want to do something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I remember what the word is now, and I'm going to go straight for it. I believe it's the word reluctant, and I can't remember where the word reluctant is. But it is, it's the word reluctant. Ah, there we go. Down here. So a person may lose their appetite and be reluctant to drink. 
it means you don't want to. So reluctant. There you go. Sorry if that video. Oops. Sorry if that video was a little long, but I think quite a challenging one this week. Um, even for a text that we've read, I think you've got to skim read over that a lot, and there's a lot of text there. So I think the difficulty. I think there's two difficulties here. One, a lot of text to read, and two, you know, there are some words that we may not have come across before, not particularly confusing words. Once you've learned them, it's pretty easy, you know, replenish, situated. You'll hear these quite, they're common words. You might just not have read them before or, or use them very often. So well done with that. If you've got, uh, oops, sorry, any of these at home, absolutely fantastic. Have a look at your answers. Check, you know, if you've got something very similar, um, then well done. But th these are my answers for it. This is the way I would say it. Um, you might want to have a look and, and find the exact definition yourselves and check check your answers, but these are roughly uh, what you should be going for. So fantastic, well done, year fives for that.